सदाशिव सरंभाम शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ नैष्कर्म सिद्धि सेकेंड चैप्टर पेज सिक्सटी थ्री वर्स नंबर फोर्टी फाइव न पृथंगनात्म सिद्धि आत्मनोन्य वस्तुन आत्मवत्कस्मात अहंकारादिरात्म सुरेश्वराचार्य नेगेटिंग दैट अहंकार दि अनात्मा as the part of atma ai di turiya atma because anatma has got different attributes atma is nityam eternal anatma is anityam temporary so both cannot be together there are many differences shown atma is nirvayavah atma is sarvagatah atma is aprameyah atma is satyah like that many many the features of atma were given which are diagonally opposite to anatma anatma is not uh, sarvagatah but uh, it is uh, pervading limited in the body mind complex the ahankara the anatma sukshma sharira roopa anatma and many differences are given he presents here how atma is different like any other object clip is different from pen pen is different from the book but anatma ahankara is not independently existing of atma like pen book book is differently existing separate from the pen pen is differently existing separate from the clip so each vastu is different differently existing but you take the rope snake snake does not exist separately from the rope our rope snake the snake is not having an independent existence of its own so atma alone giving lending existence to anatma really speaking atma is independently existing anatma can never exist independently it doesn't have independent existence at all therefore this ahankara anatma is always dependently existing on atma only that is why in this 45th verse sureshwaracharya said this world is also has got uh, um only a dependent existence it doesn't have on independent existence the world also so that is why brahman alone is having real existence independent existence but not only that it is not the same as atma also it is different totally and it is not same like atma that is presented here look into the shloka आत्मनः अन्यस्य वस्तुनः अदर देन आत्मा वस्तु आई दी आत्मा आत्मा वस्तु मीन्स आई माई सेल्फ आई एम सच्चित आनंद स्वरूप आत्मा आई एम आत्मनः अन्यस्य वस्तुनः 
there is no different second vastu na prathang na siddhihi it cannot exist na siddhihi means it is not available what is not available anatma vastu is not available separate from atma that is the idea presented here anatma vastu doesn't separately exist from atma like a rope snake or you can take another example waker alone appearing as a dreamer dream is a dreamer does not exist separate from the waker another example also you can take so dreamer never have independent existence separate from the waker similarly ahankara also is like that only it is uh, appearing as bhinnam but it is not bhinnam it is abhinnam that is bhinna abhinna roopa anirvachaniyam that is anirvachaniyam ahankara you cannot say it is really there you cannot say explain it is uh, not there also therefore anatma atma dvaitam has come now <laughs> when you talk about ahankara anatma this much time we come to conclusion that anatma is there separately atma is there anatma also dependently existing on atma but this is a problem we will end up in dvaitam we will end up in dvaitam therefore in nirvana shatkam and all when we say मनो बुद्धि अहंकार चित्तानिनाहम न च श्रोत्र जिम्हे न च घ्राण नेत्रे व्हेन वी से ऑल द टाइम आई एम नॉट माइंड आई एम नॉट द बुद्धि आई एम नॉट द अहंकार लाइक दैट आई एम टेलिंग इट इज एज गुड एज गिविंग देयर इज समथिंग अनात्मा एग्जिस्टिंग सो पूज्य स्वामी जी से दिस मेडिटेशन ऑन निर्वाण षटक मंडल पीपल डू मेडिटेशन we have to carefully understand fourth line chidananda roopa shivoham shivoham i am satchidananda swaroopam i am not the body mind complex means um, it is as good as we are accepting the anatma there is second entity but sureshwara acharya telling here anyasya vastunaha prathang na siddhi there is no second thing existing independently at all that is why you have to understand there is no anatma at all really speaking there is no mind there is no buddhi there is no ahankara there only appearance as long as you have ignorance they appear as real that is the idea presented we should not take uh, anatma as though separately na remember the rope snake waker dreamer like that if you remember the examples it is simple to get clarity so this is the second line you see uh, not only second line first line itself two sentences like atmanah anyasya vastunah prathang na siddhihi other than atma there is no second entity you cannot establish it really not only that atmana na siddhihi unlike atma unlike atma which is independently existent anatma is not so atmana na siddhihi means here atmana na siddhi second time you can supply unlike atma unlike atma which is independent independently existing but atma anatma is not so that is the meaning then second line atmavat tasmat ahankaradi atmani kalpitam kalpitah atmavat like atma this uh, all are kalpitam tasmat because of uh, superimposition ahankara adi 
ఆది పదార్థం మన బుద్ధి చిత్త ఎక్సెట్రా అహంకారాది అహంకార ఈగో ఇంటలెక్ట్ మైండ్ అండ్ మెమరీ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ అహంకారాది ఆత్మని కల్పిత దర్ ఆల్ సూపర్ ఇంపోజ్డ్ అపాన్ దర్ ఆత్మ ఐ ది ఆత్మ హౌ దే ఆర్ సూపర్ ఇంపోజ్డ్ ఫర్దర్ ఎక్స్ప్లైన్డ్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ సీయింగ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈజ్ అనాత్మ ఐ యామ్ ఆత్మ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈజ్ నాట్ దే రియల్లీ మై ఏవ సకలం జాతం మై సర్వం ప్రతిష్ఠితం దట్ మంత్ర వి హ్యావ్ టు రిమంబర్ యు హ్యావ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ మస్తాని సర్వభూతాని నచ్చ మస్తాని ఆల్సో బోత్ ఇన్ మై గ్రంథ గ్రంథి శ్లోకాస్ ఐ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ దిస్ అబౌట్ మస్తాని సర్వభూతాని నచ్చ మస్తాని దే ఆర్ దేర్ యాజ్ ఇట్ వర్ అట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ అనాత్మ ఈజ్ నాట్ దేర్ నచ్చ మస్తాని భూతాని దే ఆర్ నాట్ దేర్ ఇన్ మీ సో బోత్ మస్ట్ బి క్లియర్ ఫర్ ఏ వేదాంతిక్ స్టూడెంట్ దేర్ ఫోర్ అహం ఇన్ తైత్రీయ ఉపనిషత్ ఆల్సో వీసా అహమన్నం అహమన్నాద అహగ్ శ్లోక క్రిత్ అహమేవ సర్వం దట్ ఈస్ ద ఐడియా వెరీ వెరీ నైస్ శ్లోక now we'll go to the next verse verse number 46 introduction tasma dagnana vijrumbita metat i'll read the shloka drishya shab drishya ha shabda daya ha klupta drashtru cha brahma nirgunam అహం తదుభయం బిభ్రత్ భ్రాంతి మాత్మని యచ్చతి సేమ్ ఐడియా ఫర్దర్ మోర్ ఎలాబరేట్లీ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ హౌ దట్ ఈజ్ పాసిబుల్ హౌ దట్ కల్పితం ఈజ్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ దృశ్యా సారీ ఇంట్రడక్షన్ తస్మాత్ because of that superimposition tasmad agnana vijrumbhitam agnana means atma agnanam self ignorance or you can say mula vidya or you can say um, maya because of maya or mula vidya or atma agnanam this uh, superimposition is happening for every ignorant person this is the um, procedure happening there vijrumbhitam it is uh, vijrumbhitam means uh, it is so powerfully spreading all over etat that alone we are going to explain further shabdadaya you see the first line of 46th verse shabdadaya means here the sense objects shabd vishaya roopa vishaya gandha vishaya all those objects corresponding objects shabdadaya shabda sparsha roopa rasa gandha vishaya they are all called drishya they are all come under drishyaha they are all observed by me many um, all of them come under objects objective they are all objectified by the observer that's why they are called drishyaha many objective objects are Uh, objective universe you can take drishyaha means the entire objective universe this entire objective universe what kliptaha kliptaha means well defined well defined kliptaha well defined clearly distinguished or distinctly uh, 
demarcated distinctly demarcated specifically separately they have shown kluptaha drashtruhu brahma nirgunam all these uh, objective worldly objects objective world or universe they are all separately distinctly shown from the atma which is brahman nirgunam attributeless drashtruh the observer the observer brahman i am nirgunam bhavati bhavati you can supply nirgunam attributeless all shabda sparsha roopa rasagandha are attributes every object has got attributes body mind complex has got attributes whereas the drashtru the observer the observer is attributeless brahman the observed world body mind is attributed observed is always possible observed objects are all when they have attributes only you can experience observer is free from attributes observed objects are all having attributes second line he says aham tadubhayam vibhrat why this samsara is happening actually why this problem why this ignorance delusion confusion people are getting the problem is here satya atma asatya anatma both are played together joint venture that is very very close sitadubhayam aham means here ahankara the ahankara the mind come under a gray matter gray area very difficult to understand that gray matter ahankara aham means ahankara tadubhayam bibhrat tadubhayam means both both it carries bibhrat bibhrat means carries carrying dual um, it is um, ubhayam means both dual status ahankara the mind is having a dual status two statuses ubhayam vibhrat carrying holding object hood and subject hood the mind ahankara is holding the subject hood and object hood both that is the reason for atmani bhranti hi yachati bhrantim yachati because of the two fold statuses of ahankara it causes some delusion in me the atma as it were vishaya saptami yachati atmani is vishaya saptami atmani yachati i the atma am ever the observer never the observed world is ever the observed never the observer this we saw in panchadashi also upadesha sahasri also the same idea presented here so satya atma for a seeker for a seeker videha mukti all these are relevant but seer videha mukti is not relevant because there is no deha i am videha ever i am ever the observer never the observed but where is mind this ubhayam can be interpreted in two ways two um, meanings are there two ways of interpretation tad ubhayam very very important word that is the same mind if you understand it is anatma there is no samsara if you don't understand it as anatma there is a samsara what is that uh, the reason causing delusion bhrantim 
it is a first we will see the difficult approach then uh, simple approach which we saw in upadesa uh, sahasri um, also buddhya rudha prakranam so that uh, many places we saw that so what is the difficult approach this ubhayam i will present first so mind carrying two statuses he said ubhayam mind has got uh, um, reflected consciousness what are the two statuses we know one is um, mind is having chidabhasa reflected consciousness so atma is reflected in the mind number one then anath at external world is also in the form of thought entered in the mind external world also mind has got reflected consciousness rc and mind has got the thought thoughts are there in the mind about the world people objects thoughts are also there so this thought procedure is called vritti rupena anatma pratibimbaha vritti rupena book thought pen thought house thought man thought woman thought wife thought daughter thought children all are in the form of thought 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 vritti so chidabhasa is already there one status there in the mind chidabhasa rupena that is the first status abhasa rupena chidabhasa rupena you can say abhasa rupena atma pratibimbaha so atma is reflecting atma pratibimbaha chidabhasa rupena number 1 first status second status vritti rupena anatma prapancha pratibimbaha vritti rupena in the form of thought anatma prapancha uh, pratibimbaha reflects reflects means you get the knowledge of book knowledge house knowledge all are there in the form of thought thus that is also there in the mind when you are listening to my class uh, you are uh, having that book in front of you you are looking at naishkrama siddhi and you are looking at me and you are listening to me all these are vritti rupena prapancha pratibimbaha in the mind before that what is already there chidabhasa rupena atma pratibimbaha is there in the mind this is called ubhayam because of that aham hankara tad ubhayam bibhrat hankara is holding these two statuses my god that is why mana eva manushyana karanam bandha mokshayo mind alone is required without mind i cannot experience the world mind is required in that mind thought is required house thought uh, my all possessions all thoughts must be there otherwise no interaction nothing will happen so it is an advantage at the same time at the same time that advantage become disadvantage many times we develop attachment we develop raga dvesha all other things towards those objects that is called samsara so can you drop the mind if you drop the mind you cannot interact with the world you cannot know anything even to eat the food also hmm? you require vritti rupena prapancha the food pratibimbaha otherwise how do you know what you are eating whether to eat or not all in the form of thoughts then only functions are happening therefore it is one way advantages also if you are a mature enlightened person the other way is also advantage yes only one way advantage yes means what i have to interact with the world and i enjoy the world i make use of the world that is also good but you don't know this distinctly mind is carrying these two chidabhasa also and vritti also what is vritti prapancha meva vritti rupena 
ஆல் த பிரபஞ்சம் மார்னிங் இஃப் யூ வேக் அப் ஓன்லி இன் ஸ்லீப் தேங்க் காட் இன் ஸ்லீப் தட் விற்பி ரூபேண பிரபஞ்ச பிரதிபிம்ப நாஸ்தி தட் இஸ் வை யூ ஆர் ஃப்ரீ ஃப்ரம் அதர்ஸ் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் அதர்ஸ் ஆர் ஆல்சோ ஃப்ரீ ஃப்ரம் யுவர் ப்ராப்ளம் இன் ஸ்லீப் பட் ஆஸ் யூ வேக் அப் இம்மீடியட்லி விற்பி ரூபேண பிரபஞ்ச பிரதிபிம்ப தி வர்த்தி மைண்ட் கேரீஸ் தட் அண்ட் சிதாபாச இட் கேரீஸ் உபயம் இட் கேரீஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் வே ஆஃப் பிரசன்டேஷன் திஸ் இஸ் த ஃபஸ்ட் இன்டர்பிரிட்டேஷன் செகண்ட் இன்டர்பிரிட்டேஷன் ஆல்ரெடி வைஸ் ஆ மெனி டைம்ஸ் இன் உபதேச சாஹஸ்ரி ஐ எக்ஸ்பிளைன்ட் எனி ஆஃப் யூ நோ தேட் வாட் இஸ் தட் செகண்ட் அப்ரோச் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் சிம்பிள் மைண்ட் ஈஸ் இன் பிட்வீன் த வேர்ல்ட் அண்ட் ஆத்மா மைண்ட் இஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷனிங் இன் பிட்வீன் ஸோ த ஃப்ரம் த atma standpoint mind is observed correct mind is observed by me the atma the observer sakshi chaitanyam so mind is playing object role object role it is object from the standpoint of atma but whereas because of chidabhasa mind becomes sentient and that much sentient uh, it is capable of uh, having the status of observer observer status because of sentience borrowed sentience from me my own mind borrow sentience from me and it is become capable of uh, um, holding the status of observer observer of what observer of the world observer of body so observer of the world world become object so mind is playing the observer role also observed role also two roles it is playing that is why we have this bhranti because mind is carrying observer status and observed status observed from the standpoint of atma mind is observed as an object but the same mind is observer seer number 2 seer number 1 is i the sakshi chaitanyam seer number 1 primary seer primary observer very very interesting this is i like this topic அஹம் ஆத்மா ஐ ஆம் த ப்ரைமரி அப்சர்வர் எவர் த அப்சர்வர் நெவர் த அப்சர்வ்டு ஓகே தட் இஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் பாயிண்ட் ஐ தி ஆத்மா ஐ ஆம் எவர் தி அப்சர்வர் நெவர் த அப்சர்வ்டு ஆர் வி கேன் புட் இன் அதர் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஐ தி சாட்சி சைத்தன்யம் ஆத்மா ஐ ஆம் எவர் த சப்ஜெக்ட் நெவர் த ஆப்ஜெக்ட் these are all you know i am just uh, again uh, recollecting along with you okay loudly sharing loudly remembering okay so i the atma chaitanyam am ever the observer never the observed ever the subject never the object okay statement number 1 statement number 2 the mind is the observer also and observed also observed or object from the standpoint of atma and observer subject from the standpoint of the world so mind is the subject also object also subject from the standpoint of the world because world becomes an object mind is the observer of the world body therefore mind plays the subject status also and object status also from the standpoint of sakshi chaitanya me the atma so mind is playing two roles so that is called ubhayam whereas the world is ever the observed never the observer world ஆப்ஜெக்ட் திருஷ்ய பிரபஞ்சா இன்க்ளூடிங் யுவர் பாடி ஸ்தூல சரீரம் 
ever the observed or you can say ever the object world body mind complex is ever the observed mind means that jada manas ever the observed uh, never the observer mind means don't take in between the ahankara i am telling okay intellect chittam all those are there other than uh, this ahankara part of mind all of them are ever the observed never the observer or ever the object never the subject so what finally atma is ever the subject world is ever the object whereas mind ahankara is subject object also that is the cause for samsara if you know this uh, there is no samsara mind is playing secondary observer secondary observer is not an independent observer therefore mithya it cannot afflict me i the atma am sakshi chaitanyam primary observer independently existing secondary observer mind is only in jagrata avastha it is secondary observer or in swapna avastha you can take passive passive not totally passive not totally active observer but in sleep it is not observer mind ahankara is not the observer therefore it is a temporary secondary observer that is why this if you know this if you understand this there is no problem at all there is no samsara for this i used to give an example like moon what moon does a moon borrows brightness from the sun and illumines the earth okay sun is the illuminator world is illumined sun is the ever the illuminator sun need not be illumined by anything if you understand this example you understand that dashtanta also easily the sun not uh, your sun okay sun s u n sun is ever the illuminator never the illuminated whereas the moon is illuminated by the sun on purnami day full uh, brightness is there once uh, it came the sun moon came very close to the earth it happened one or two years before and the moon brightness is too high and it appeared so big also that day moon on purnami day all of us we saw that Hmm? and many people took photograph also and that moon because of that brightness it is the illuminator of the earth moon is the illuminator of the earth now you see the moon playing illuminator role illuminated status also it has got it is the illuminator and illumine illuminator and illuminated okay illuminated from the standpoint of sun illuminator moon is the illuminator from the standpoint of earth moon has borrowed the luminosity moon has got moon has borrowed the luminosity from the sun and illumines the earth so earth is ever illuminated never the illuminator just like 
in the Dashtanta world. Earth is ever the illuminated and the moon is like your mind. Okay. Moon, Manaso, Devata, Chandrama. Very nice. Natato Bodha Visa. Manaso, Devata, Chandrama. So the moon and mind both are just like uh, borrowing. Moon is borrowing uh, illumination from the sun and it becomes bright and it illumines the earth and Purnami day. Similarly, mind also borrows sentiency from the Atma Chaitanyam, from me, the Atma, and becomes sentient and illumines, observes the entire Anatma Pravancha. That is the meaning of Ubhayam here. Beautiful example you can remember. Sun and Earth in between Moon. So, Moon has got illumined status from the standpoint of sun and moon has got illuminator status from the standpoint of earth. Drishtanta. Darshtanta, mind has got illumined state, uh, observed status from the standpoint of I the Atma, Sakshi Chaitanyam, I am the observer and mind has got uh, the observer status from the standpoint of world, Anatma, Therefore, Ubhayam Tadubhayam Vibhrat, that is the meaning of Ubhayam, okay. A simple word, it looks very innocent word. My God, see behind that Ubhayam, how much teaching is there. Vibhrat, that is the reason for Bhranti. Atmani Yachati, it is... Uh, in Atma, it superimposed the delusion cause within the self. Atmani Yachati means within the self, the delusion is happening. Everything is very clear, black and white. But in spite of that, the moment you forget your real nature, life becomes miserable. As long as you remember your true nature, primary observer I am, ever the observer, never the ob observed, ever the subject, never the object. If you remember all the time back of your mind, you will never disturbed by the any Vyavaharika, Prapancha, Anatma, you will not disturb. Because hai hi nai. Really, it is not there. Because of a lack of jnanam, atma jnanam, the delusion happens. Therefore, therefore one has to drishyatvam, drashtrutvam cha, it has got. In Sanskrit, if you want to say, observed, observer status of mind, ahankara, ubhayam. In Sanskrit, how can you say, drishyatvam, Objecthood, Drashtratvam, Observerhood, or Drashtratvam, Object Status, Drashtratvam, Subject Status, both are there in the mind. Bhrudhat, Vibhrat means Bhrudhat, third conjugation, present active participle, Vibhrat. So this is this mixing up and messing up and suffering. Don't mix up, don't mess up. That is, uh, this is called dissecting. We call it as uh, dissecting anatma as anatma understanding. With the primary self, if I mix up, I'm a samsari. With the primary self, I detach from the secondary self or secondary observer. I am Muktaha. What is Moksha? Understanding this is called Moksha. <laughs> Understanding this is called Moksha. There is nothing, no more Moksha. No other Moksha in the world other than this. You believe it or not, it is left to you. That's all. If you think there is something else Moksha, have a nice tour. <laughs> moksha tour. Trip. Go and come back. When? Your choice, 
next birth next birth we cannot say that's why don't uh, miss this opportunity next verse beautiful presentation 47th verse um, introduction tata eveyam abhinnasya atmanah veda buddhi tat eva iyam because of the ignorance of primary self tadeva iyam eva yam is there how to split eva plus iyam iyam is adjective to bheda buddhi iyam bheda buddhi this verse uh, uh, sri shrishwaracharya refuting the sankhya philosophy they talk about plurality bheda buddhi is uh, there except in advaitam all systems of philosophies nyaya vaisheshika purva mimamsa vishishta advaitam dvaitam everyone talk about dvaitam 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 plurality many atmas many souls except advaitam there are no many souls that is beautifully this surishwaracharya presents evam ev tat iyam iya eva iyameva bhinnasya atmanah abhinnasya atmanah even though atma is abhinnam divisionless plurality less bhinnam means plurality division abhinnam means plurality less or divisionless in that atma iyam bheda buddhi this type of division seeing the division that is different this is different that is real this is real everything is real 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 people and they talk uh, world is having lot of diversity normal world worldly parlance parlance what we talk um, world has got lot of uh, um disparity or uh, it has got a uh, lot of uh, variety beauty novelty everything is there that is why it is more attractive in advaita shuddha advaitam there is no attraction the same idea presented in uh, mundakopanishad also dwasu parna sayuja sakhayo समाने वृक्षे परिशस्व जाते सिमिलरली रतम पिबंत इन कठोपनिषद दैट आल्सो टू स्टेटसेस दिस माइंड इज प्लेइंग देयर भिन्न भेद बुद्धि ही आत्मनः अभिन्न से आत्मनः भेद बुद्धि वेयर देयर इज नो प्लूरलिटी इज नॉट पॉसिबल रियली ड्यूएलिटी इज नॉट पॉसिबल रियली but our buddhi is seeing the bheda difference plurality how that is clarified in the shloka bheda buddhi is with the example he gives drige ka sarva bhuteshu bhati drishyaira nekavat jala bhajan bhedena mayukha srag vibhedavat the srag you have to correct that stra is there it is only srak tra is should not be there mayukha srak mayukha srak suri rashmi ityartha this sureshwar acharya using a difficult word mayukha means a rays of light beam of light rays of light mayukha srak means sun sun is called srak mayukha srak means the sun whose um, rays are bright and very much brilliant so who is um, 
uh, wearing the sarak means uh, really speaking garland all the um, rays are like garland you know and who is sun who is wearing the um, garland like rays of light garland like rays of light refers to plurality refers to plurality so therefore drug eka sarva bhuteshu in all beings sarva bhuteshu means sarva sharireshu in all bodies sarva bhuteshu in all bodies what eka drik only one observer drik means observer observer drik the seer primary seer is one only eka one only you have to remember the 13th chapter of bhagavad gita kshetragnam chapi mam vidhi sarva kshetreshu bharata idam shariram kaunteya kshetram itya vidhiyate evam yo veti tam prahu kshetragna iti tadvidaha veti tam who ever knows that kshetram is called kshetragna that is drg eka sarva bhuteshu bhati illyo means in every body everybody drishyeh anekavat bhati even though one observer primary seer primary observer atma is alone is there one alone but drishyeh because of worldly because of the mind which is also object but it function like what it function like observer it is functioning like observer vesham okay fake observer okay like that we can say fake up observer duplicate observer now all agnyanis are taking the duplicate observer the mind are fake observer as real this is the clue point i am giving understand fake observer who is the observer of the world that mind this fake observer is a duplicate observer original observer is what ever the observer ever the subject i the atma chaitanyam sakshi chaitanya because of not knowing the sakshi chaitanyam as the original observer ever the observer ever the subject i am lack of this knowledge how many people are studying naishkarma siddhi how many people are studying vichara sagara how many people are studying bhagavad gita the crores and millions and millions of people very few people are studying bhagavad gita few people are studying vedanta therefore few people are only knowing like all of you but many people have bhranti they because they do not know this fake observer distinctly they do not know this uh, duplicate observer a secondary observer who is playing subject object role who is playing observe observed role which is unreal really speaking since they do not know that they are all drishyehi anekavat the plurality is appearing because of this lack of distinction distinction between what and what distinction between primary observer and secondary observer distinction of knowledge between um, subject ever the subject atma i and uh, the of subject object ahankara both it is playing so this is the best clue for claiming that i am brahman i cannot be the ahankara how an acharya any acharya can teach easily more than this impossible 
any acharya other than this how much how can they teach easily if this much easily presenting with moon example sun example and world example after giving the example also this much clearly presenting if i don't understand my god that is a great bad prarabdha <laughs> really speaking everyone has to understand this is so simple very easily presented if you sit and just contemplate on this you will get more clarity drishyaihi hmm? because of the mind which is an object drishya means mind drishyam only from the standpoint of drik atma so drishyaihi because of this mind there are lot of plurality anekavat bhati functions next line gives example jala bhajana bhedena if you take lot of vessels and fill them with water jala bhajana means bhajana means vessel if you take that vessel and fill with water and keep under the sun okay jala bhajana bhedam because there is lot of 10 vessels are there in 10 vessels water is there bheda is there one is a big vessel another is small vessel another is bigger vessel like that different vessels are there bhedam is there 10 vessels are there first one second one third one fourth one plurality is there and water is also plurality is there so you can take here vessels are all compared to sthula sharira Hmm? water is uh, compared to here sukshma shariram sukshma shariram then reflected sun in the water reflected sun in the water reflected sun surya pratibimba falls naturally surya pratibimba compared to the chidabhasa compared to surya pratibimba so all go chidabhasa so how many students are here the 50 students are there 50 chidabhasas 50 bodies are there 50 chidabhasa 50 sukshma shariram 50 uh, sthula shariram okay like vessels bodies are all vessels mind everyone's mind is like a water content huh? and in everyone's mind chit is reflecting there in water sun is reflecting here chit is reflecting correct and uh, 10 vessels are there 10 uh, sun reflections you see 10 vessels are there 10 sun reflections you see correct each vessel you just to peep into that vessel sun is reflecting second reflected sun third reflected sun fourth reflected sun in each vessel similarly similarly beautiful example you see how with examples our gurus have blessed us uh, they have shown their compassion on us we have to thank to them similarly chit sun like surya like consciousness reflects in the water like minds in different bodies vessels like bodies different vessels like bodies many pratibimbam chidabhasa sar there many bodies are there no? many minds are there in that many reflected consciousnesses are there now tell me really speaking one sun is there and there are 10 suns are there ఫస్ట్ పాత్ర ఎవరు సన్ సెకండ్ పాత్ర ఎవరు సన్ థర్డ్ పాత్ర ఎవరు సన్ నో నో స్వామిని ఓన్లీ వన్ సన్ ఈజ్ దేర్ అప్ అబౌ హీ ఎలోన్ ఈజ్ రిఫ్లెక్టింగ్ ఇన్ ఆల్ ద వెసల్స్ ఇన్ దట్ వాటర్ వెసల్ వాటర్స్ దట్ కంటైనర్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ హ్యావింగ్ ద కంటెంట్ వాటర్ ఇన్ దట్ రిఫ్లెక్టింగ్ యూ నో దట్ వెరీ వెల్ ఓన్లీ వన్ సన్ అపీరింగ్ యాజ్ 10 surya surya pratibimbam sar real or surya real bimba surya is real surya pratibimbam sar real 
reflected suns are real or one original sun is real idikeda phd pannanuma enna not required simple you understand you know the answer like that similarly similarly what um, <laughs> Atma Chaitanyam also like sun, one, one sun like Atma reflecting in that many minds, which minds are in the sthula sarirams. Who is real now? One Chit Chaitanyam, Atma is real, I the Atma, one Atma Chaitanyam is real, or many Chidabhasa Sahankara is real reflected consciousnesses which are reflecting in the mind which mind is in the body body has arrival and departure and they kick the bucket and they say <laughs> kicking kick the bucket and then uh, once you kick the bucket through sushma sharira pour the water outside if you kick the bucket water is gone empty bucket is there can you see the sun reflection there empty bucket uh, with, in which no water can you see the sun reflection no that is called kicking the bucket and water has gone sun reflection also has gone why this kicking kick the bucket and uh, an example uh, once you kick the body also um, this thula shariram is like a bucket sukshma shariram leaves uh, hmm? leaves the body water goes away Sushma Shariram, water goes away. Chidabhasa continues. With the water, Chidabhasa continues. Even the water goes out. Sun reflection falls there in that water. But no water in the bucket. Okay? Similarly, Sushma Shariram, water is not there. And the fall of the body, dead, death time, Sushma Shariram travels. With Chidabhasa. So all, how can we take it as real? I the Atma, sun like Atma, I am real. That is the idea. Jalabhajana Vedena Mayukhasrag Vibhedavat Just like that division, plurality, Atma is also appearing as many Atmas. I the Akartha, Abhokta, Atma. Sun is doing anything to reflect in the waters. In his presence, everything is happening. Sun is not planning or thinking, let me reflect in the first vessel, first water, second vessel, container, water, let me reflect. Sun is planning or thinking? No. Sanitya matrena. Just because of his sanitya happens everything. Similarly, because of me, the Atma Chaitanyam, my sanidhyam, my proximity to this mind, body, everything happens. The plurality, prapancha happens. Whole thing is like a drama happening. Nataka deepa prakaranam, you see. Whole thing is like a natakam. I am the light, like consciousness light. So that is my real nature. Everyone's real nature, that is. Okay? Negated Sankhya philosopher. Negated all systems of philosophies, Dvaita philosophies. They are wrong and they are good for sadhanas, but not when it comes to the reality, truth. More in the next class. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om